What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we are talking about the Flash Forge Guider 2 but first and foremost we need to get this thing out of the frame because it's way too big so just bear with me. Oh Jesus. Okay guys, so today it's all about the Flash Forge Guided 2 3D printer. Now this thing is pretty cool. It's basically an updated version of the Flash Forge Guider 1. It has some build improvements, it's got a couple of extra features, it's just a general all-round upgrade from the Flash Forge Guider 1. Let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so in terms of the build quality of this beast, it's really, really awesome. It's Total dimensions, not now the actual volume in which you can print things, are 549 by 490 by 541. Is that right? Yes, no, I got that right. That was, that was the correct build size. So it's pretty big. It comes in at a hefty 30 kilograms, but if you consider the size of it and the build quality of it, it's, it's, it's definitely a relative weight. It's a full steel frame with some ABS side panels. Actually, interestingly enough, you could print your own 3D printer from this 3D printer. Printception, if you will. So it features a heated bed, which is better for ABS filament printing, but the bed is also made out of glass, which obviously retains heat better and just gives you a better print overall. I think one of the coolest things about this 3D printer is the touchscreen interface that it has. So it features a five inch display panel in which you can completely control all the functions of the 3D printer. And what's really nice about this is A, that it's multilingual, so whatever country you order this from, it should be compatible with your language. And then also, it gives you a visual representation of what you're about to print. So if you upload a model into it, and you don't have to worry about matching the correct name to the file that you've uploaded. It actually gives you a representation on the screen of what your print is going to look like. So that's really cool. It's also just an improvement over other models that have analog controls. It's a lot easier to understand. It can be a bit finicky with the analog control, so I think that was a really nice, clever touch by Flashforge. Its internal volume is 280 by 250 by 300, so that's the size in which you can print things, which is pretty big. It's not the biggest 3D printer that you can get out there. I mean, there are some that can print full-sized human models. So this is good for things like product testing and modeling. So if you have like a headphone stand that you want to see how it looks like in real life, or if you're a character creator and you want to see what your character looks like in a 3D perspective in the real world, it's really useful for things like that. So it's a professional mid-level 3D printer at a really decent price. Let's talk about some of the additional features that come along with the Flash Forge Guider 2. This thing is really making my tongue twist. First and foremost, it features the Flash Print, which is its own personalized printing software, which has a whole lot of awesome features, specifically the automated ones. So it has an auto fix. If it reads that something's wrong with your model, it's not compatible with the printer itself, it can auto fix it in terms of like its size and dimensions. It also has an auto splice function, which can be very useful if you're not the most clued up or the most experienced when it comes to 3D printing. So the automated systems that are included within the Flash Print software are really cool for first time 3D print users or just for people who don't want to delve too much into that knowledge. Another cool feature is that it has a play and pause print function or a resume print function. So this can be highly useful if you want to change the filament color or if the power failures or if you just want to pause something and make an adjustment or move the printer itself or anything like that. This feature can be really, really helpful because prints can last for really extended periods of time. So it's a nice addition for flexibility. So a lot of other 3D printers also feature auto leveling and the Flash Forward Guider 2 doesn't have that, but what it does have is a super precise laser leveling function. So it, it levels it on three separate points with laser rays basically. So that is pretty much as accurate as a level can get. You want to experience true level, do you? Oh, 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 oh my God, oh Christ. Uh, yeah, oh, true level. Oh. Another one of the improved features is the way that they've changed the build design. So it's now a closed design, which helps improve your temperature control, which basically is gonna give you a much more precise print. So that's also a nice, well thought out design feature that they've changed with the Flash Forward Guider 2. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the technical specifications, which I don't really remember. So for that, we have our mad scientist resident, Jimmy, Jimmy Jims. Oh. Personal space mad scientist, Jimmy, please. Thank you. All right, tell them about some of the tech specs. So what that basically means is that it's a super thin layer of print. So you can get the most detail, a lot of detail with that level of thin layering. 
What that means is it prints pretty damn quickly in accordance with other printers that you might see there. It's not a bad print time. It can be pushed higher, but that's still pretty fast. Wow. And that means you're going to have a decent temperature for ABS printing. So that is the melting point for ABS printing. So that's good that it, it allows compatibility for both ABS and for PSL. That's the one. PLA. PLA. That's the one. <laughs> PLA. Wow. So what that means is you're going to have crazy precise printing. So that is a super, super small number, which means great precision. Thanks, mad scientist Jim Jims. Okay, so I also spoke to him when he was actually speaking English outside of this. And what he explained to me is that 3D printing is temperamental by nature. So it's not a perfect science. They haven't got it exactly locked down. So you're always going to be facing some kind of issue, which is just inherent to the science of 3D printing. But when you're looking for a decent quality printer at a decent price that still gives you professional results, this is the thing to buy. And speaking of buying, can we print 3D money? <laughs> like print plates. Right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, speaking of buying, y'all know what that means. <laughs> at the time of this recording, this puppy, well, it's not actually here, but the Flashforge Guider 2 was priced at around 24,000 Rand on AMS3D.coza. Now, that is not a bad price because 3D printers can come in varying sizes with varying costs and varying features, but this thing is really versatile. It gives you a lot of bang for your buck. And also, AMS3D.co.za has mad services. They really just cover repairs. They cover all kinds of different printers. They have really good customer service. It's just generally a great website. So we're giving a little push to them. Not sponsored, but we really like it. And that's where we bought our 3D printer from. And that pretty much wraps it up for this week's installment of Reality Check. Let me know what you think a really cool or crazy idea to get something tiny 3D printed would be. And maybe we'll do it. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next week for another installment of Reality Check.